Keith, Keith's an amazing guy. What is up? It is Red, the ride chair ginger, coming right back fucking at ya. So today was the end of the weekend of all fucking weekends. I was aiming to hit 100 trips, and Friday and Saturday sucked absolute butthole. And I needed to do 46 trips today on Uber alone. And like, that was the only way I was gonna hit the 100 trip quest if I did 46 damn trips today, which is like, I think my most in a day is 38 or something like that. So 46 is just fucking, and I've got 20 hour days, so 46 is fucking absurd. But I did it. I hit all 46 fucking trips. And before people start coming out and saying, oh no, you didn't, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. I'll show you the graphics in just a second. Let's talk through it a little bit. And keep in mind, I add in like the graphic everything in post, like when I edit this shit. So if I'm talking and my numbers are slightly off or something like that, it's because I don't have them written down. I'm on my way home right now. It's 8.30 fucking PM. I'm going home. I've been out on the road since 4 AM. So we're, we're going home. I'm not writing the numbers down. So I'm gonna talk about them a little bit off my head. So. Here's a, let's, let's jump in. I'll show you 30 trips from Friday. So you see that there, 30. Uh, I think it was 24. Yeah, it had to be 24 from Saturday, yesterday. And then here is the 46 from today. So here you go, you see all the numbers. 103 total trips on the week, but 100 of them were this motherfucking weekend. And also, I have $30 on Lyft, but that was from that was from Thursday. I think I did two or three trips, something like that. I don't know. But or I think it was Monday even. I don't it doesn't matter. So the weekly total, as you can see, is $9.55 on Uber, but that was $14 on uh, Monday. So that's $9.41 plus 20 cash. In total for the weekend, I did roughly 45 hours. So at that 9.45-ish rate plus the 20 cash or whatever, I'm just over $20 an hour. And I don't know. So let's let's talk about today. What did I do today? How did I make today happen? I got lucky as fuck. That's how I made today happen. I started at about 4 a.m., ran 15 and a half hours today, did $270, and then knocked out the 46 trips. I started in the loop and well, I started at home, set a destination filter to downtown and caught two quick trips, super short trips. Uh, so I, when I got into the loop at about 4.30, I had two trips knocked out. Um, ran in the loop for a little bit. I don't know how many trips I did before I decided to take a nap at about, I think it was like 5.30, six o'clock, grabbed about a 30 minute nap and then went back out and started knocking out trips. Trip, 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 trip. And I've been Hyde Park for, I would say, 75% of the day. Um, well, at least 75% of my city time that I had. And so I was knocking out trip, 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 trip. And then I don't even know what time it was. It had to have been around, I don't know, three o'clock. I had about an hour and a half of city time left. So yeah, it had been somewhere in that two, three o'clock range. I ended up setting it, I was sitting in the loop still, I'm like running short trips, got a couple of short trips, and I finally got a 30 minute trip, declined that trip, set the last destination filter I had up to Evanston, caught like four or five trips on my way up there, and so I think I entered Evanston with like 18 trips to go or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it was it was, it was was 18, I think it was 18, because I told, I told myself at the start of the day that um, if by noon I needed more than 30 trips, I wasn't gonna keep running. Well, I was at 28 at noon. If by four o'clock I still needed um, more than 15 trips, I wasn't gonna run it. Well, I was down to 14. So like, I think I was at 18 when I got into Evanston at like 2.30. And then I uh, knocked out a few quick trips and then I grabbed about a 30 minute nap after I got up in Evanston. So, in, or across Howard at least. Howard is your cutoff for city time. So got up there, knocked out my trips, and then took a quick nap, and then got back at it. Um, I needed 14 trips. Started, I got. I think I took a nap from like 3.30 to 4 or 4.15, where I needed the 14 trips, and then I did some motherfucking eats. I did 10 each trips to knock out the end of the day. I think, I think of my last 20, 10 of them were eats or something like that. I, I ate that shit to death. Um, so, 270, and that's, that's, that's how I get to my 46. I don't, 
I still don't understand how I did 46 damn trips a day, but I did. Um, and I did it in 15 and a half hours. Like, I basically averaged three trips an hour for 15 and a half hours straight. To me, that's unheard of. Like, the standard Chicago average is two motherfucking trips. Two motherfucking trips per hour. So, I don't know. But... So, the 100 trip quest is possible even when you have a shitty Friday, Saturday. 46 trips today. Even if I would have had a normal Friday, Saturday, like, today would have been super easy and possible. But no, I'd have an awful Saturday. And I ran a short Saturday because, like I told you guys before, I'm flipping my schedule over and trying to get to 4 a.m. So, I didn't run any nights. I didn't run past 9.30 a single night this week. Didn't do a trip past 9.30. So, I... And it's a weekend, like that's that's the other part. I don't. It's still mind blowing to me that like I didn't run nights and I still knocked out the hundred trips. And I still have trip times, even though I declined a shit ton of trips. To I didn't decline shit ton of trips, but I think I declined fifteen to twenty trips between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that, in total to uh, drop my acceptance rate. But I'm still at eighty six percent acceptance rate, so good to go for the week still. I don't know the next time I'm going to chase a quest because I don't know if they're fucking worth it anymore. Like, I got over $20 an hour, which is fine, but I don't know. I I think you can... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see going forward. The last couple of times I've chased a quest, I just didn't feel like it, it's been worth it for me. Uh, now I'm switching to weekdays. I will probably do one of the weekday big quests at some point. Tough thing for me is I have class Tuesdays, Thursdays. So for me to chase a huge quest just kind of seems silly when I'm going to be in class. But we'll see. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. It is $940 for 45 hours of work worth it? I mean, it's over $20 an hour. But if I wouldn't have knocked out the 46 trips a day, I would have been $100, $95 short of that. So it would have been, if let's say I would have called it quits a little quicker and so did 42 hours and I would have been at um, $850 or something like that. Like, is that even worth it? Like, I don't know. I don't know. So we'll, we'll decide whether quest makes sense going forward. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I... I think I might just start doing trips. And that's the other thing, too, is, like, not run Lyft. Like, obviously, I made less money. Like, you take away that $230 that I got for the Quest, and what is that? That's 720 on 45 hours? I only made $720 on 45 motherfucking hours. Like, that's under $18 an hour, I think. Might be 17 off the top of my head, something like that. So, yeah, I... That doesn't seem like it makes sense. Like, why not just run the trips? And if you get a lower secondary quest in there, then do that. Like, I did the 180, and maybe if I would have just been going for the 80 and I knocked out some lift trips, maybe I would have made more money in total. I think that's going to be the better combination is going for some of the a mid-tier quest um, going forward and then knock out some lift with it and take advantage of that. I don't even know if lift had PZ this weekend. I didn't open the fucking thing. So I have no idea. Like, I had it on Lux only. Lux and Lux Black only Friday and Saturday all day. And I only caught one request and had to decline it because I was on a Uber already. I didn't even turn Lyft on today because I knew I needed the 46 trips and I was going to go for it. So, end of the day, knocked all the trips, got them done, did my 100. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep, but I'm working tomorrow. I trying to flip around my schedule like I said but I'm not gonna go for the 4 a.m. tomorrow I'm gonna see the girlfriend a little bit but I will be getting after it 4 a.m. Tuesday so on that 4 a.m. shift Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then uh, I'll start weekend this weekend so I'll probably be out there all Sunday and part of Saturday till next time guys like comment share let me know what you guys think I appreciate the views appreciate the subscriptions hit the little bell notification so you know when I post new videos but until next time guys thank you